It seems to me that it'd be more fair if everybody on both basketball teams was the same height. <laughs> That's how it seems to you, huh? Yeah, like in boxing. Heavyweights fight heavyweights, lightweights fight lightweights. So, in your world, everybody on a basketball team would be, say, six foot five, and they'd only play other teams that were six foot five. Exactly. That way, no one would have an unfair advantage. Huh. That's very interesting. You really think so? No, but it's less likely to start a fight, and that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And yet you said it anyway. Listen, I've got to talk to you about something. Okay, dumb was a poor choice of words. It's not about that. Thinking I wait till halftime? No. <laughs> Gotta go to a funeral this weekend. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Who died? My ex-mother-in-law. I couldn't wait till halftime? Charlie. I'm just saying, she'll still be dead at halftime. I was very close to her, and I want to pay my respects. So I'm going to Santa Barbara, and I'll be spending the weekend with my ex-husband. Oh, okay. To find with. Well, everyone's staying at his parents' house. All right. What, do you want me to come with you? No. Great. <laughs> Why not? You want to come? Hell no. That's what I figured. Look, I just want to be up front with you. I was married to Alex for eight years, and I just don't want you to get the wrong idea. I wouldn't have had any idea if you hadn't felt the need to tell me. Yeah, well, I don't want us to have any secrets from each other. Oh, I agree. We definitely should not have secrets. Right. You know, from this point forward. <laughs> so what kind of guy is this, Alice? He's a good guy. We just got married too young and wanted different things. You wanted something different than your things? Because your things are terrific. Thank you. You didn't go gay on you, did it? No. Rats. Are you jealous? No, no, of course not. I mean, maybe a little, you know, in the sense that his mother's dead. <laughs> 